Have you ever had the situation where you've been on a video call, perhaps with some colleagues, and you want to present your screen, maybe present a slideshow, but when you present the slideshow so that you can see it, you now can't see the other people on the call. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. But before we go any further, please do remember, if you do like my videos, do hit the thumbs up button. Remember to subscribe to the channel and then hit that bell icon to make sure that you don't miss any of the future videos. So if you are going to present your slideshow, you're going to present your screen so you can see your colleagues. You've really got two basic choices. The first and by far the best is actually to get yourself a second screen. Now, I appreciate with everybody, you know, having been under lockdown, trying to get hold of second monitors is sometimes being a little bit difficult. Uh, sometimes they're a little bit more expensive than perhaps they have been. But if you are going to do this even more than just once in a blue moon, then I really would advise that you do get a second screen. So don't forget that doesn't necessarily have to be a computer monitor. Obviously, they are better if you can get them. But you can also use perhaps your TV as a second monitor as well. Most of your TVs have a socket in the back, the same HDMI socket that you would plug your uh, Skybox or your DVD player or something into. Most modern laptops either have an HDMI uh, slot on the laptop or you can get an adapter and plug the HDMI cable in and that will allow you to run it as a second screen. I'm just going to quickly show you um, what you'll need to do if you turn that in. So this is just my desktop here, and this will vary by a specific computer a little bit, and it will obviously vary depending on whether you're using Mac or Windows. I'm currently using Windows 10 on an HP laptop. If I right click on an area of the desktop and select display settings, then once I've plugged that second monitor in, I can come into here and what you're looking for is an option, uh, something called multiple displays. It may be uh, somewhere else in your, uh, your graphic settings. But what you're looking for is instead of duplicate or mirror, you're looking for extend or extended desktop, okay? So you set it to that, it may well ask you for a confirmation dialog. And then once it's done that, you'll see something that looks something like this. So screen one is my laptop screen and screen two is my external monitor. Um, what it's saying up here is about you can drag to rearrange. Now I've got my laptop directly underneath my second screen, which is why that looks like that. But if for some reason your laptop's maybe off to one side, if you don't have very much space on your desk and your screen is off uh, slightly to one side, you can just drag them so that they reflect the actual physical layout that you've got. What that then means is when you're moving your mouse between the two screens, that it appears where you would expect it to. I'm just going to put that back to uh, its normal settings. So once you've got that set up as a dual screen, what you can then do, if I just show you what my two screens look like. So this is my, uh, the one on the top is my second screen, but the one at the bottom where you can see the software I'm using for recording this video uh, is down on the bottom. That's my laptop screen. But if I bring up a PowerPoint slideshow, and this is just one that I had created previously. So what you can see there is I haven't got it in slideshow mode yet. What I've also got running is just a Google meeting as well. So I'm currently dialed into this with my phone as well, just to show you what it looks like with the participant. So over here is my phone. So that's the participant in there. So uh, what I can then do is put this into slideshow mode. And obviously, as you can now see on the two screens, I can see my presentation on my main screen. I can see the meeting on the second screen. And then obviously I can click through the, the presentation and just talk like this. And it's really easy then to see uh, people that are on the call with you. What I would actually recommend quite often, particularly if you've got a lot of people on the call, you don't necessarily need the slideshow big as long as you can read it. Um, and the people on the other end of the, the uh, the meeting will be able to see it as if it's full screen. Um, so if I do actually present that now, so I could either present my entire screen, which would allow me to choose that second one. So if we just look at that, I can present and it'll ask me which screen do I want to present. I would present screen two. And now uh, on the call itself, then the people on the other end will be able to actually see that uh, that presentation. Um, if I wanted to stop that sharing 
And what I would actually recommend if you are going to be sharing content or sharing your screen is actually to share a specific window. Now, the reason for doing that is that, and I'm sure you'll have seen it happen or maybe it's even happened to you. If somebody sends you a message, perhaps in Google Hangouts or something like that, whilst you're actually presenting, if you're presenting your whole desktop, your whole screen, then that pop up will actually uh, appear as well. And then the other people on the call will be able to read it, which could be a little bit embarrassing, especially if they're perhaps saying something that's not terribly complimentary about somebody else that's on the call, um, or especially if you were recording it. But by sharing just a specific window, the people on the other end see exactly the same thing. They see that full screen, but it just means that if anything else pops up on your desktop, then you don't have to worry about other people on the call being able to see it. But now what you should be able to see is again, I've got the slideshow uh, up on my large screen. I've got the uh, the call actually running down on the smaller screen. But what I started to say is you could turn it around the other way and just drag the windows the other way around so that you've got the call on the bigger screen, particularly if there's a lot of people and you want it in grid view. So you can see all of their faces and then just run the slideshow on your smaller screen so you can see it. So that's the first way is actually running a, uh, a second monitor. Let's say by far my recommended one, but I do understand that for a lot of people, they're not able to actually uh, run it on single, uh, run it on dual monitors. They only have a single monitor. Perhaps you only have your laptop when you're trying to do this. So. What I'm going to show you now is just how you do this on a single screen. Now, this takes a little bit of adjustment in the settings inside PowerPoint. So I'm going to take you through that bit first. So if we uh, go back to PowerPoint and we have a look in here, I'm just going to take this out of uh, slideshow mode. So. In PowerPoint, if you go up to the top and select the slideshow option, you've got a number of things up here, um, which are really useful options if you're presenting PowerPoint. So you'll usually find this is set to automatic um, as to which monitor the actual slideshow itself comes up on. Um, that's normally fine if you want to be control which one it is. Primary monitor, that's my laptop. Monitor two, obviously, is my external screen. I'm just going to leave that on automatic. Um, but the option that we're looking for to be able to run your PowerPoint slideshow and to have your meeting all on the same screen on a single screen, for example, on your laptop, is under here. It's under Setup Slideshow. So if I just show you in there, um, actually, I've just realized that is not coming up. So give me one second. So the option you're looking for is under here, it's under Setup Slideshow. So if I click on that, you'll see a dialog comes up and the normal option under here for show type is presented by a speaker full screen. That means that when you click on the present slideshow, it fills your whole screen. If you do that, then you're not gonna be able to run these side by side. The option you need is browsed by an individual window. So if we select that option now, when I click on slideshow, it does kind of come up full screen, but this is actually in a separate window. And what I can then do is if I click up here, see that then makes it smaller and I can then drag this around. And as you can see, I've actually already, because I was playing with this earlier, sized it so that it fills roughly half the screen. Obviously you can drag this to whatever size you want. And then what you can do is you can take your Google meeting. So if I just grab that, window or that tab from below and I can bring that up as well. So if you imagine this is my laptop screen uh, and again, you know, if it's not easy to drag, you can click that, drag it to the other side like that. Just adjust the size of it a little bit. So you can do that. So I've now got the slideshow on the left. I've got the call on the right. I can then present and again, I'm just going to because I don't want any unexpected notifications popping up, share a window. I just share that PowerPoint slideshow. And that then means that uh, the people on the call can see this window over here as if it was full screen, as if it was running full screen. But um, you can actually see their uh, videos and things over on this right hand side. So just remember I'm logged in with my phone. Uh, so that's what we can see over here. So. 
it's just a little bit slow. So it tells me I'm presenting to everybody, but I've still got the video feed uh, of the people on the call down here. Now, today I've done this using Google Meet, but exactly the same principle applies um, if you're using Zoom or Teams or anything like that. You can do uh, exactly the same thing. You just see notification errors objecting to the fact that I'm muted on the call, but that's because I'm recording this video for you. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, and as I say, best thing to do, get yourself a second screen, plug that in, extend the desktop, and then you can run the presentation on one screen and the call on another. And my recommended way around is to have the slideshow actually on the smaller of the two screens and the, the video feeds on the larger one so that you can see everybody's faces as big as possible. But if you can't do that, then do this. Go into the slideshow option, set up the slideshow, uh, set it to um, play in a window, and then you can place those windows side by side. I hope that's been helpful. As I said, if you have liked the video, please do give it the thumbs up. Uh, please do remember to subscribe to the channel as well. And do remember to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any future videos. Gordon Mullen, Effective Remote Relationships, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.